Hey Panthers, this is the instructional video for your moral focus goals. This is a Monday assignment, but you're actually not going to be physically turning it in on Google Classroom until Friday. But the first part is due on Monday. So here's your home page of your Google Classroom stream. If I click to the classwork page and I go down to the moral focus topic, there should be an assignment called moral focus goals of the week. If I click that and I view this assignment and I read my instructions that say, add a personal comment to this assignment on Monday of your academic goal for the week and your personal goal for the week. Then on Friday, open up the Google form right here and determine whether or not you met those goals. Remembering whenever we are coming up with a goal, it needs to be measurable, which means at the end of the week on Friday, you should be able to say, yes, I made my goal, or no, I did not make my goal. And the second part is it must be achievable. This needs to be something that you can actually do in five days. So the first part of this assignment is add a personal comment to this assignment on Monday of your academic goal and your personal goal. So my private comments are over here to the right, right here where it says private comment. I'm going to write in this comment box, my academic goal for the week. Reminder that academic means relating to school or school work. So my academic goal for the week is to stay on schedule with the lesson plan. And then I'm going to say my personal goal for the week is to help my mom do the dishes every day. So before I submit this, I need to check that they're both measurable and achievable. If that's correct, then you are going to submit that. Now, once you add this private comment, you are, I will be commenting back. So that's why this first part has to be done on Monday. And also when you're setting goals, you need to set that on Monday so you have something to work for all week. On Friday, so you just went through your entire week, you are back on your Google Classroom homepage. You just tuned in to our 11 o'clock whole class Skype meeting and you came on your Google page to finish up those moral focus goals. So we can go back over to classwork, topic down to moral focus, and here's my assignment. So for Friday, I am going to open up this Google Forms and I am going to determine whether or not I met my goals. So before I open up this form, I'm gonna make sure I reread my goals. Right now I'm posting as Kelvin. Um, my academic goal was to stay on schedule with the lesson plan. My personal goal was to help my mom do the dishes every single day. Okay, so on Friday, then I'm going to open up my Google form. I'm going to write my name. And then, did I meet my academic goal? Did I stay on schedule with my lesson plans? If I did, if I met that goal, I'm going to hit yes and then hit next. If I didn't, I'm going to hit no. These are gonna prompt you to two different questions. So if I hit yes, we are going to go to, what is one thing that helped you achieve this goal? What's one thing that helped you achieve your academic goal? And if you did not meet that goal, you're gonna hit no, and you're gonna get prompted to, what are you going to do differently next week to achieve that goal? So with whether you achieved it or you did not, you are going to be answering this que a question. These questions are not meant to be long paragraphs, just one sentence, a little quick explanation of what you're either going to do differently or what helped you achieve that goal. Once you do that, it's going to ask you about your personal goal. Did I meet my personal goal of helping my mom do the dishes every day this week? 
If I did, I'm going to hit yes. If I didn't, I'm going to hit no. If I hit yes, I'm prompted to the same question. What is one thing that helps you achieve this goal? Answering that with one sentence. If you didn't achieve that personal goal, you hit no, and you get prompted to the question, what are you going to do differently next week to achieve your goal? Once you answer those questions, you hit submit. And I can go back to my assignment. Oops. Once I hit, I hit submit and I can go back to my assignment. And over here, I can press mark as done. You don't have to attach anything because I'll be able to see on this Google form whether you completed it or not. So these are how to complete the moral focus goals. Reminder, the first part is due on Monday, but you're actually turning in this Google form on Friday. Good luck.